I asked Professor Levis to tell us why he thinks that speaking is such an important skill for English learners to develop. He said that people need to be able to talk to get things done and to maintain social relationships. These uses of oral language can be accomplished through speaking face-to-face -face or at a distance over the internet. Why do you think it's important to teach speaking to students? Speaking is, is the, um, the basis of, of oral language. Um, if you learn a, a foreign language and you can't speak, um, like when I learned Korean and I came out not being able to speak at all, um, it feels like a failure. And so if you ever travel and you want to use the language, you need to be able to communicate in some way orally, and that means understanding what other people are saying to you and also being able to communicate with them. And then the other part of, of oral communication for me is, is pronunciation. Um, pronunciation is really the kind of the face of language. It's the first thing you first notice. Um, that even if someone speaks well, you notice whether they are speaking like you or not, li not like you, and you make all kinds of judgments about, um, about people um, because of that. And so this element, well, speaking is essential for any kind of interpersonal communication. Um, Maybe you can text now and have Google translate it, but it seems a little bit clumsy in terms of communicating. Professor Levis pointed out that speaking is the basis of oral language. Also, people get things done every day by speaking. People establish and maintain relationships with others by speaking. And people notice the pronunciation of the people they are communicating with. Our speaking does something to mark who we are. It expresses our identity in everyday face-to-face -face communication. I asked Professor Levis what teachers need to know about speaking. He emphasized that there are two dimensions of speaking, fluency and accuracy. Teachers need to teach each one of these dimensions. Let's listen. What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about speaking? Okay, so when we're talking about speaking, there's, there's always a kind of a tension between being fluent and being accurate. And sometimes you can be very fluent, like in greetings, um, and you don't have to worry very much. And there are other times that, that accuracy gets in there and you wonder, am I saying this wrong? Am I using the wrong word? Am I using the right word? Am I um, getting my, my message across? And in the second language, that's always the issue, this kind of tension between fluency and accuracy. With pronunciation, you also add in questions of, of accent. And what we know is that accent is not terribly important in terms of whether people understand you or not, but it is what people often notice. Um, and from a pronunciation point of view, it matters more whether you are comprehensible, um, whether you're easily understood. Um, and this gets into all kinds of, of issues of what kinds of things in your pronunciation might make you less easy or more easy to understand. And these all work together in teaching speaking. 